Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna go through my 2016 sketchbook. 16? 16. Yeah, let's get words out properly today. Um, this was just a cheap book from uh, Home Marlins and it's got really, really thin recycled paper in, but it's great for just quick sketches, nothing finished in here. And I did all all over it with my Sharpies when I first got it. But yeah, let's get started. So first we've got the sketch to my unicorn piece, which the video is on my channel. This is probably one of my best pieces this year, I think. But I like how the face turned out and when I was colouring it as well. It took a long time to colour the hair, but it did work really well. Um, next is the earth horn piece, which is just when I was going through my stage of just wanting to draw horns all the time. But it's all good. And again, this is also another one of my better pieces from this year. Personally, that's what I feel anyway. Uh, it's the Galaxy Hair Girl. I think I called it Stars in Her Eyes. Which, you can see all of these finished ones, especially these, on my Facebook page. Some of them are on YouTube and some of them are on Instagram. But most of these ones at the start are on my Facebook page. This was a concept for a painting I did called Peony. Because she got peony flowers all here. But I actually dropped the book in my paint palette, which is why there's all of this here. So you can see some of the colours I used. Yeah. <laughs> and this one is just a quick sketch I did trying to draw from a reference photo. And I don't like the face. It didn't work out very well. Well, it's only a sketchbook. It, it, I don't think I was actually going anywhere with this piece. It was just something just to draw. And this was the first Nature's Warriors sketch that I did. I used to carry this book around with me all the time before I had my baby. And I'd just sit in coffee shops and draw. And I was actually drawing this one sat at McDonald's with a coffee. And there was this guy that was sat on a table across from me. Now he couldn't, he didn't have to sit there, but he decided to, and he just kept giving me this dirtiest look ever, just because I was drawing a naked lady. And it's not even like it's a perfectly anat anatomically correct one, because I mean, look at this, it's, it's, this is like tiny, but it just gave me dirty looks, I'm like, I'm drawing, get over it. <laughs> I just sat there and kept doing it. He didn't have to sit, and because there was a bench either side, and he could have sat on the side that wasn't facing me, but he decided to face me, so... Clearly he liked what I was doing really. <laughs> and another quick sketch. I don't like how the face turned out on this one, but this is when I was trying to find my style and get used to drawing. Like the style that I do now, this is where it came from. I was doing stuff like this all the time and like this one. I just tried to do smaller eyes because I normally I used to just draw literally anime people all the time. So I was trying to this year has just been finding my own personal style and I think I'm almost there with it for now anyway. So this is one I did while I was waiting for my life drawing class to start. And the more refined version of my Nature's Warrior sketch, which I really like this one. And there's a watercolour painting of this as well on my channel, which I'll link somewhere. Wherever the little eye is, it'll be there. And this was the sketch for my colourful mind watercolour painting, which I don't know if there's a video for that. But you can see the finished version on my Facebook page. And all of these that I have finished are on my Redbubble as well. So if you can't find it on any of my social ones, then it's on Redbubble, most likely. Uh, another one of my Nature's Warrior. I do actually want to turn this girl into like a little comic series. I have so many ideas for it but I just I haven't really got round to it towards the end of this year after doing these few sketches. But maybe maybe soon. Soon. If you'd like to see a comic with her in then please comment below and let me know. But uh, More drawing from reference. Sometimes I like to go on Instagram and just find pictures on there and draw from them just to test myself like doing an open mouth and different facial expressions and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Oh wait no, this one was the colourful mind reference. Uh yeah. 
that other one developed into this one. But yeah, this is for my colourful mind painting, which, like I said, the, the finished one is on my red bubble. This one I was trying to draw Siren. Siren. Um, I don't know how she says it, but she just got her hair cut, and I really liked the picture that she put on Instagram, so I decided to draw it. And it's like drawing of Bailey J, which there is a video for that. Yeah, because I transferred it onto um, Bristol board and coloured it with markers and pencil crayons. Uh, this one I was just trying to practice my anatomy drawing again and it did work out okay apart from the head is I think the head's a bit too big and the face is just a bit funny but the body itself isn't too bad um, this one I was trying to do just a biro drawing and not I wanted to be really loose with my lines which is why it's so sketchy I quite like how it turned out but I don't normally draw dragons so that was a test um, this one there may also be a video for this on one of my sketch with me videos again I was sat in I think it was again McDonald's at that time and I was just doodling this is when I got my Pentel brush pen it's the no not Pentel brush pen um, it was cheaper ones from the works these ones these are just water based ones which they're not very good, but for doing little doodles in here and getting used to a brush pen, they worked really well. And next is oh, my neon picture. The reference I was using, the girl was actually like supposed to be sort of upside down, like sort of hanging off a bed. And then when I drew it out onto my Bristol board and coloured it, I didn't like it, so I actually turned it around. So yeah. Oh, that was a really bad face. I don't like this one. But see, not everything's perfect. There is a lot of drawings in here that I'm not happy with. And this is another one. I was trying to do like a pouty kissy face and it didn't really work very well. Yeah, so that didn't go anywhere. This again was a painting concept. I wanted to do her with... Oh, I don't know what they call. They're a type of mushroom that looks kind of like filigree and I can't remember the name of them properly but I wanted to do that and then when I transferred it over onto the canvas it just it wasn't working when I was painting the face in I just I didn't like it so I painted over it <laughs> and this one is referenced from another Instagram photo I like how this one turned out I might do something with that one one day. Yeah. Um, you've seen me do a paint over on this one, a digital paint over. Very recently, actually. But yeah, this is actually just a painting concept because I wanted to get it onto a bigger canvas. But we're in the process of trying to move house at the moment. Well, when we finally get a date, we can move in. So all of my paints are packed. Well, my acrylic paints are packed at the minute, so no paintings for now. Um, this is a tattoo design for that I was thinking of getting for my daughter. That was the size of her feet when she was 12 days old. Well, I didn't like how the design was looking, so I just kind of left it. Uh, you've seen this one recently, my Midori picture that I did a digital paint over. I really like the style of this one, so I might try and do some more in this style. I do need to work on my flowers a bit. But... Oh, random piece of paper. There we go. This is one of the characters that I drew a long time ago for one of my comics I was going to do. And I really liked the huge eyes style. And I actually did something with bigger eyes than this. But I was just trying to see if I could draw that style again. And I like how the nose turned out and the mouth, but I don't like the eyes. So I don't really need to work on that. But I've got like three or four different stories that I want to turn into comics. <laughs> yeah, maybe one day. Uh, the initial sketch for my Galax Galac Galaxy Mermaid picture. Which yeah, it's this one's a lot skinnier than the final one because I wanted to do a bigger 
She was actually supposed to be for someone on Twitter's Fat Mermaid zine, but I didn't do her fat enough. I was quite happy with how she was because I was doing it based more off me, but oh well. Uh, this is my daughter's little doodles. She was just sat at my desk with me and she was playing with one, some of my pencil crayons and just kind of hitting it against the paper while eating the other end. <laughs> This was the sketch I did for my collaboration with Claire from Black Summer Colouring, which I'll leave a link to that video in the eye above, whichever side it is. <laughs> um, drawing from an Instagram photo again. Yeah, I do this a lot. If you guys would like me to start doing a little, like, draw me thing, so if you guys want to tag me in a picture, on Instagram and I might draw some of you so I can draw my subscribers if you want to see that because I'm always looking for interesting photos to draw so if you do any like different facial features or poses or anything like that then yeah go ahead and I'll try and draw it um, this was a just a quick little sketch I did for my husband you know when he did the takeover video and then he said no it wasn't good enough it had to be a clear line art so I ended up colouring this in with his best friend's missus and we sort of tried to do a little challenge see who could get the most coloured in I think it was 20 minutes which I've got the footage for that somewhere but it's not very good quality which is why it's not been put up on the channel. Um, is this one Pentel brush pen? No, I think this one was that cheap brush pen again. But I really like the style of this one, especially her face. Yeah, I might do some more like that too. Um, again, drawing from Instagram. I was trying to. It, it didn't work very well, but I wanted to try and get my characters to actually be doing something. So I was trying to do referencing with that, but uh, yeah. Cool. And this is Leia drawing again. And this was the initial sketch for my mermaid I did for this Tanashi Life for the contest because she was a winner and um, this was the sketch I did for um, redoing Nicole the Shy's picture because she'd asked me to redraw her entry to my competition and I really liked the concept so that was the first sketch I did for that and the sketch for my tea challenge, the Black Summer Tea Challenge video. You can see all the mistakes I made down here drawing cups. <laughs> uh, these were just some loose biro sketches and I was trying to practice drawing things like skulls and proportions and I sort of liked where this character was going so I drew her again. It different. And this one, I really like this one. I might use this in something maybe. But I definitely want to refine her a bit. I like the idea of the picture. I just need to clean it up because you can see my under sketch there that I did in my red biro. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And it's just in the background you might be able to see them. I did some little face practices. Which I like that one. I don't know why I drew over that. but And then I just wanted to do a sketch in biro in the red and black. Oh, yeah, I really like that one. Um, practicing drawing a peony and just random cartoony faces and mandala. I was just scribbling on this page really. Um, just practicing. I've got some of the water brushes that are filled with ink and I just thought I'd use them paper can't really hold too much ink but yeah. again just some loose drawings just letting my hand go while I'm just zoning out and yeah I'm not long got into watching Echo Gillette on YouTube and I wanted to draw her I really like her hairstyle so there's my little drawing of that I did with my Pentel brush pen and this is the start of my 12 days of art challenge so the 60 second poses, I think there's a few of those, then there's the face positions, which that one's still my favourite, I like that one as well but that one's my favourite. That's probably the best profile view I've done of a face. 
and facial features which that face is just funky but that eye is really cool and the torso silhouette drawings which you can't really see now it's all in printing arms hands which I don't like how this one turned out very well but it's not too bad legs feet 10 second gesture drawings that was quite fun to do and the hip up well I suppose it's just below the hip but these two worked out quite nicely that one mm, yeah. the face is just funky but the rest of the body is alright and some more of those and this one was just going to be a normal sketch but then I decided to turn it into the major from Ghost in the Shell because I'm really excited for the new live action film to come out can't wait and then full body drawings and there's my elf drawing and that's the last one in the book yep. oh. I can tell it's a cheap book it's really hard to close sometimes but anyway that's the end of this sketchbook so the end of the video thank you for watching i hope you like seeing all of my random sketches the good and the bad ones and it just shows that not artists don't always have really good sketches all the time and it's not all perfect so that's what sketchbooks are for they just let loose do random crappy sketches and in the hopes that no one will ever see them but then you put them out on the internet anyway but yeah Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for my next video.